Well, hello there and welcome to another training video. In this nugget, I'll be sharing with you how to install a backend theme in Odoo. Let's get started. When you hear the term theme, it just means the interface. The interface looking differently the way you would prefer. It means the color schemes, the arrangement of icons is a little bit different from the custom one that you have in Odoo. Some people just edit the existing theme to be to either dark mode or, 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 or lighter mode. For instance, if I go to the uh, account name here, there's an option for me to change this into the dark mode. And people like it that way. So that's the dark theme. However, you may want to include a little bit of functionality just to make sure your theme looks better and awesome each time you're using it. So in that, it means you need to install a theme that you will prefer. So if I navigate into my application session, the number of themes that are in here or a number of applications that I can install. Remember, we have the front end themes and the back end themes. The back end themes are themes that are useful when you are navigating the setting and setting up for your own use. The front end themes are themes that are used to the customer interface. For example, a website is a, is a front side of things. Now, I will want to find a theme in here. So I'll navigate into the search area. So first thing, I'll disable this dark mode. I happen not to be a fan of dark mode. So if I come in here, I can search for themes and the number of themes that are there, depending on what you want to do. For example, there's a theme for uh, the test module, there's a theme for mailing, etc. However, Odoo also has a, an application center where you can definitely search for all the themes that you can prefer to have in your site. So if I navigate into the theme options and select all the themes, then I'll see all the themes that are available for use. So you can tell we have from the top ones, some of them are sold at, or they come at a price, while Odo is a little bit friendly, so it has a few that are paid for and some are free. So I'll select the free option. And these are the themes that come in for free. So I need a back end theme, so I will look at one that is interesting for example this one looks nice look at the number of downloads look at the number of downloads and see what what really is awesome so i'll tend to pick this one I'll just click on it you can choose either uh, one that you feel is very good for you so on the info section it will show you how the thing will look like for instance you can tell that the arrangement of my commands is not necessarily the way uh, it was earlier on when I was using my default theme. And you can also tell uh, the layout doesn't really look the same as the default. You can tell right now we have some elements on the left and how they show on mobile and how the search functionality work. Uh, the way it shows the uh, different levels and categories when you're working with your sales uh, lead teams and lead generation. So if I feel that this theme is okay, uh, the only thing I'll do is I'll download that. So I'll click on download. So it's down here, downloading. Remember, you must ensure that the version of theme you are downloading is compatible with your Odo. For example, mine is compatible with version 16.0, which is the exact module that I am using uh, in Odo. So once the download is complete down here, I'll navigate back into my module options. Then just clear the filter here. I need to import that module. So I'll click on import option. I want to upload that uh, as a zip file. So I'll click on upload, navigate to my downloads. Here we are. And this is the back end theme that I'll select on import. Once the installation is complete, voila, 
you can tell that now my theme looks a little bit different from how it looked like a little bit earlier. So if if I just show you a flick of the before and after, this is how the theme looked like before we integrated the new backend theme. And now this is how it looks like when we integrate the new backend theme. Remember, not all the themes are compatible. You make, must make sure that whenever you are working with the themes, you select a theme that is very compatible. Again, depending if you're using an enterprise theme or, or, or an end user theme, then it may affect the way you interact and install these new themes into your workspace. So this is the inside of the theme, and you can tell my dashboard, my invoicing, my apps, my setting. The arrangement pretty looks interesting compared to when I didn't have a theme on. So that's how you work with the theme option. However, I don't really like to keep this theme here. I want to keep using my default theme, so I'll navigate back into my applications. And I'll change the view to list view, and I'll select my themes. And from the theme options, I will find my default theme here. I will click and yeah, I think I love my default theme. Um, I'll then select activate. Once the activation is done, voila, I have my normal theme installed in here and I can navigate back into my app section here we go my theme is back to default you can now navigate into my crm or my sales module and it looks exactly the way i would prefer it to be so don't forget every time you want to install your themes make sure to download them from a reputable website like the odol applications or if you're buying them from different section or from different from different places on the internet, then ensure that the themes are compatible and the themes have not been engraved with viruses that can affect your computer or steal your CRM data. I hope this video has been very informative. I'll see you in the next nugget.